winning the tag team championship was it was a dream come true. It was the pinnacle of my career. After the eight years I spent wrestling and the year Kieran and I spent trying to win that championship to, to beat the J team in Dublin on national television. I never dreamed I'd get this far. No, I can't take your sky. No, I can't take your sky. And I saw the birds fly. So rock. No, I can't take your sky. No, I can't take your sky. I went into the match with a torn shoulder under strict orders not to wrestle. And then my next match, I got two broken ribs wrestling John Jennings. I was told that Adam told him to put me out because of the whole tag team title thing. Usually I just come straight back if I take any time off at all, but this time was kind of different. And my whole career just, just kept going through my head from, from day one. Everybody who helped me, everybody who gave me the opportunity to do what I want to do and then be who I want to be. And all the students, and the chance I had to bring the, the North American style to Ireland. I grew up here in Ireland, and as you can imagine, when I started in 96, there was nowhere to go. You couldn't do amateur, you couldn't do professional, there was no retired wrestlers, there was no aspiring wrestlers, there was nothing. You only give them what you want them to see. You only focus on what you want them to see. And to give it enough time to think about it, to react to it before you change it up. More than anything, I thought about the promise that I made to my family eight years ago. And I knew. Now it's time to say goodbye. Oh, folks.
it's not it's not a gimmick he really was trained by the late great Stu Hart and he's such a great bat wrestler and he's proven that right now Luke Norton is the real deal Stevie Luke Norton is one of the best in the world Big suplex by Blake Norton oh, he floats off it's so beautiful watching him wrestle it's this is the kind of wrestling scientific style that just, just makes you think, you know, in a lot of cases, wrestling, you know, it's an art form, Mike. He's the Celtic target, and if he locks you in that stew lock, it's over, baby, it's over. And it looks like Blake's going for it. Blake's going for the stew lock. Oh, he's going for it, he's going for the stew lock. The new target is Stu Hart. Hart. The legendary Stu Hart. He's uh, standing up for the stew lock. He's, he's going for it. He's got it. Oh, he's got it. But, uh, he's going to give it. We've got it. I'd say nobody can escape this. Blake's going to have a permanent injury if he doesn't give up, Mike. Listen to the fans, and now he's got himself up for this Stu Lock. Yeah, he's just in the centre of the ring, that's it, it's going to be over. His fans are chanting tough. Oh, look at him hooked oh, That's it, he did it! Blake won it! Thank you.